Hello everybody. Um, today I just want to show you an example of bruising in mycelium. Because um, a lot of times if you look at this, if this is your first girl, oh by the way, this is a dimon pair. So the tattoo is a di uh, dicarion blob and the TP is a monocarion. So what I'm doing is trying to get how the dicarion, which is a tattoo blob, to transfer one of his nuclei over to um, this monocarion so I can get fruit. I did this the other day, and I actually picked those fruits. I don't know if you can see down there. There's little guys. They were getting a little bit, um, I don't know, manky. <laughs> they were getting a little bit gross. Um, so I picked them all off. And this this is about uh, this is about a month old. So, yes, I'm maybe about five weeks, almost five weeks old. Um, I was trying to get spores. So what I want to do here is basically get a fruit body and then get spores so I can move on to the... The F2s and the F3s. But you, what you'll notice here, the main point of this is, you guys, the bruising here that occurs. So uh, I've been running in my new tents, and it's uh, I, I really, really need to dial in the, the humidity conditions and the air circulation as well as the air exchange. So different kind of topics I don't want to get into today. But this is clearly dried out, you guys. I can see here, when um, mycelium gets damaged or gets bruised, it it uh, bruised it uh, blues you have bruised blues <laughs> so so you can see here um this is clearly the result of essentially like mycelium that's not really like doing so great um now when you get these kind of blob things a lot of people would probably think this oh my gosh this is like contamination look this is this is not gray you guys this is more of a blue so you got to make these subtle kind of uh adjustments to what you think of as blue and gray and green like if you see green there is trigoderma green and that is like you'll you'll never forget that color um but then there's this kind of grayish blue um this is not a contamination or anything this is an environmental problem and you can see here it's getting a little fuzzy again like i saw this the other day and so what i did is i increased you see how it see how i touch that see how it's kind of fuzzy and then i touch it and then it just kind of like smashes down real easily and i can feel it's like soft and wet that's not contamination you guys um, you can see here where maybe, um, yeah, so it's like right there. It's like really like crusty. It's kind of crusty, and I can feel it. See, so this isn't contamination, you guys. So a lot of people I know when they first start off, this is a weird one because it's a blob. Uh, again, I can feel here, this is like, it's kind of got like a surface area, you know, like when you get like a film on some kind of, like maybe your, you know, your cocoa or your tea, you get that little like pellicle, they call it, like a little surface if you let it sit around too long. Um, that's kind of what's happening here. And so I've noticed this with several of my tubs. I've got about 30 tubs. Maybe I don't even know 30 or so tubs in there. I, I Shoeboxes. I shouldn't call them tubs. Shoeboxes. And I can see it happened in another one here too. So I don't know if I want to put that on the floor, but I don't want to get up. I, I can see here too. This is again. So this is again a, a blob with another monocarion. Um, so um, this one you can see here where the I got fruit, so that was probably a successful daimon with this one. But here, I haven't gotten any fruits. This was in a different location in the tent, and you can see here, it's tattooed again with a different monocarion. So, same idea, the bullet phenomenon, but this guy hasn't produced fruits. And so, what I'm going to do, again, you can see that, that clear bruising. Um, I don't know why... Uh, I don't know, we had a little discussion yesterday and somebody said that like mycelium, like cube mycelium doesn't bruise blue and I'm not really sure where, or, like what planet they're living on, but um, this is obviously bruising. Um, so what happens again, it's either because of the surface conditions, you get too dry. Usually what happens is you'll, I know because I watched this for the last like several weeks, it was really, really nice and fluffy and then basically the, the mycelium got zapped, it dried out and when it dries out it starts to oxidize and that blue color is the product of basically um, the alkaloids, particularly silicon, uh, basically forming these uh, you know, polymers uh, and they make crown, I don't want to do the chemistry again, but the the blue color is from these basically polymers or oligomers that form from the psilocybin polymerizin. <clears throat> so when you see that blue color, that's the indication, well, first of all, there's probably something going wrong because there's a damage or some kind of injury. In this case, it's just a lack of moisture in the air. Uh, the other thing is that that's an indication that there is alkaloids there, okay? So again, there is alkaloids in, in mycelium, you guys. I don't know where this, it's, it's dangerous misinformation, I think, as people like to call it. 
there is clearly alkaloids in here, you guys. I don't care what customs or what the, you know, interstate commerce people say. Maybe it's, un maybe it's very, very low. And maybe it's low enough to where it can't be detected. But this is, this is chemistry, you guys. That's the blue color. The blue color is the polymer of the silicon. We know that for a fact. That is well established at this point. So nobody needs to guess anymore. Nobody needs, the chemistry is there, right? You guys, blue color equals silicon polymers or oligomers. Oligomer, oligomer oligo just means a short polymer. Usually two, three, four, um, like kind of units, the MERS. So we call them oligomers. It's a polymer. It means things are linked together, just like plastic, right? Like this is like polyethylene, right? Ethylene <laughs> linked together. Anyway, uh, I think that's enough for today, you guys. So what I'm going to do is try to try to help this guy out. What I'm going to do is probably soak this with water. I'm not soak. I'm going to put probably like a half inch of water in it, and then I'll go in there literally with a fork and kind of rough it up. Just so you can see there, like you can see, right? There's like a crust on there, right? You can see this. Like you see that? There's like a crust. I can peel it off. This isn't what you would call overlay. This is just basically mycelium that got too dry. It's not that hard to figure out, you guys. It's just mycelium that got too dry, and I can feel it's dry. And that's simply because I, I've been messing with my fan and the air circulation, and I just cranked it up a little bit too hot one day, and it got dry. That's all. When mycelium bruises gets injured, uh, just like the fresh fruit bodies, it stains blue. Um, it's as simple as that, you guys. There's no, uh, there, but the main thing here is there's no contamination. The only problem is usually when it gets to this point, it, it may be, especially because this is like over a month old, this one. This may be past saving. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I've got other shoeboxes ready, so I might just toss this in the garbage, to be honest. The more I feel it, the more I feel like this is kind of, it, and it's quite light. So this thing has lost a significant amount of its moisture, so it might just end up in the garbage. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, you guys, uh, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.